I'm up early here in Barcelona today. It's gonna to be a bit of a photography day today, starting with Sagrada Familia here in the blue hour and then on to sunrise. I photographed Sagrada Familia last time I was in Barcelona, which was like seven years ago when I was brand new as a DSLR photographer. And I did a terrible job, like terrible. And it's funny because looking back, when I was done here, when I was done with those images, I loved them. I thought they were so good, I was so proud of them. And I'll, I'll share those images with you guys now so you can see what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, they weren't so good and it's time to improve on those. So hopefully we get some cool light and get some cool images. So I made it to my location. You can see it behind me there. And let's hope for some good light here this morning. I've got like an hour to shoot this place. Blue hour, then the sunrise. So first of all, that was a little bit frustrating because of the light. The light was incredible, but not where I needed it to be. And then it was really flat, exactly where I needed it to be. And that was a bit of a challenge, um, but a positive. And one of the things I love about being a photographer and a travel photographer is meeting people. And I was there shooting and just chatting with a guy from China, from Chengdu. And I love that. Whenever you go shooting photos, there's always another photographer to hang out with, to talk to, to meet. And it's part of what I love about travel in general, but as a travel photographer, it's awesome meeting other photographers um, out on the road. I think I'm gonna go inside. I've never been inside before, and it opens in like 20 minutes, so maybe I'll grab a coffee and then go inside, because it looks cool inside. So that was actually pretty awesome. A lot of the churches in Europe can start to look, you know, the same, they can look alike. Gaudi stuff can never look like the other stuff. So very unique and, and really cool. One thing I'm really guilty of in travel is I don't really go into places. I don't really go into museums and stuff like that. I'm really bad at that. I usually kind of just go to places that I can get cool photos at. And you can definitely get cool photos there. You can't use a tripod in there but there's tons of cool light coming in and, and it was fun. So I'm gonna get back now to my hostel. I'm gonna do some work and then I'm gonna shoot another location this afternoon. So I'll check back in with you guys later today. So the plan this afternoon was to climb up to this park to photograph Sagrada Familia from above, but I kind of fell asleep doing some work on my computer, so I'm really late if I'm gonna get up there in time for sunset. There's not really public transportation to get up to Parque Guy, which has like a bunch of um, Gaudi stuff, but also a, fantas a fantastic view of uh, Sagrada Familia. So I've got to walk and it's like two miles. I don't know what that is, like three and a half kilometers or about a 45 minute walk. And I gotta get moving if I'm gonna get there on time. So let's cruise.
So I just made eight euro entry into this park here and it turns out that's not even the viewpoint that I wanted. And uh, sun's going down so let's see if I can find the one I need and hopefully it's not another eight euros. So funny story to end uh, this video. Sometimes I'm, I'm an idiot, a little bit of an idiot. Sometimes when I go out and film, I do this thing where I press the record button, but I don't actually press it. And then I film like a minute of me talking and then I press it to turn the camera off record and it actually turns it on. And then I record like 30 minutes of my pocket or my bag or the ground and that's what happened on yesterday's outro so there's no outro i'm now in tomorrow i'm now in the future i'm now on february 4th but i'm gonna close out this video now um to recap what happened yesterday at sunset looking down at Sagrada Familia, photographing F Sagrada Familia from above, it was disappointing because by the time I got to the photo location, the sunset light disappeared and the sunset light was incredible. It was perfect. I just couldn't get anywhere to shoot it and that was frustrating. And then the blue hour light was beyond boring so that kind of sucked. Still, Sagrada Familia is just incredible. It's such a cool building, it's such a fun place to photograph, and I photographed three spots inside, nearby it, and then a distant shot, so I'm still pretty happy with what I came up with last night at uh, here in, in Barcelona. And uh, that's it for this episode. And tomorrow is that pitching video for you guys, that you guys have been begging for it seems so that pitching video is coming tomorrow I promise you also I want to say that if you're in Madrid or Madrid area I'm doing a meetup on February 5th I guess that Sunday night we're gonna be at the Bea Arts building on the terrace shooting photos up there and anybody who wants to come is more than welcome to come um, that's sunset so I guess that's about six o'clock I'll be up there if you are coming I do ask head over to my Facebook page and sign up just so I know there's gonna be people that show up and if you guys are interested in a meetup anywhere that I am in the world whether it's the Philippines coming up Buenos Aires when I get there Berlin maybe wherever I am be sure to comment that so I know there's people in the places I am and we can do these meetups. I'm more than happy to do meetups. I love meeting people out on the road. And anyways, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow on that pitching video. Peace.